This is Otabo. We are made in Africa. my husband regardless of what anyone believes and I did not kill him This is rubbish, absolute rubbish. There is no clear justification to all this. This doesn't just tell you. Good morning, sir. The hot water is ready, sir. And why don't you just bring it and pour it on my skin? I'm sorry, sir. Come back here. You don't get it, do you? No, sir. Hmm. Chicken. Okay, I'll go and prepare it, sir. Come back here. Good. Oh, father. Stop calling her names. I'm sure she didn't finish standard six. Look, what is this? Oh, that. I forgot to show you this. I'm sure this will save you the early morning drama. Take good care of yourself. Love you. Mm. All See right, you daughter. later. Uh, Excuse me, sir. Yes. I left something on the fire, sir. Just stand there, okay? Yes, sir. <sighs> sir, it is the food. You want to burn my house? Ah! What is this? In my city. Oh gosh, this is fantastic. Girl, I must be dreaming. How great is the story of stuff? Wow. So t um your things where are they? Oh my 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 bag uh in my car outside. Oh my god, you you look so beautiful. Thank you so oh much. god of Israel. I know, right? Oh, yes, come to the trade. Yes, yes. My come to the trade. <laughs> oh. Thank I you so you. much. I know I miss you too. But see, that's the problem. I am so tired. Tired of globe trotting. I'm tired of it. Everything. <laughs> tired. Babe, do people ever get tired of being rich and famous? <laughs> yeah, this girl is tired of being rich. And, well, not being rich, obviously, but the fame part of it, I'm just, I'm tired. I'm done. See this girl, Lou? 
Madam Abel, can we switch jobs? <laughs> Vicky, I'm serious, I okay? Am I'm not joking. I'm not joking around. I am for real, for real. I am not joking. You're serious, aren't you? I am. Tell me, what is the problem? Vicky, I goofed. Big time. supposed to be uh, my late period. You remember? I do. Sir. So why are you disturbing? Sir, your breakfast is almost getting cold. Oh, uh, sorry. No. I don't understand. I want to give myself a good treat today. That means? I am not eating your food. Uh, haven't you taken care of me enough? <laughs> but sir, I'm only doing my job. I know. Uh, take care of yourself and uh, Lisa. I will take care of myself. Mm -hmm. All right, sir. Welcome, ma. How are you? I'm fine, thank you, ma. Oh. Where is my father? Where has he gone to? Um, he went out since afternoon. Do you care for a massage? No. Father. He ought to be resting. Is that not what the doctor advised? I believe he'll be back soon. He feels he's in his thirties. <laughs> Do you want to have your Batman? Do you want to beat me? Sorry, no. Then go look for something else to do. Love and ting ting, yeah. Da 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 da. Love and ting ting, yeah. La 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 la. Love and ting ting. Ah oh, shit! You love me? I love you. Dad, what's this whole excitement about? You have to be resting. I know. <laughs> While you run my empire. <laughs> I, I understand, Lisa. Hmm? But um, just to say that I have cause to be happy again. I don't get you that. Baby, 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 listen. No amount of bad news you tell me today that will change my mood. <laughs> listen. Money will always come, but happiness is rare to get. You understand? And besides, you are in charge, and I trust you will deliver. That's my baby. <laughs> love. You see, sing love to me, I will understand. That is the truth. I am happy, very happy today. off on his own, um, sipping his drink and watching me. Of course, I acted like I didn't see that he was watching me because I thought it was like all the other guys. He finally got up and came to my table and sat down and decided to buy my thoughts for 30 Naira. Oh, <laughs> I thought that was yeah. funny. Yeah, I thought that was funny. It was a joke. I got it. It was, it was fine. And um, he's, he's sweet, I guess. Zuzi, yeah. it's okay. Like this, yo. Mm -hmm. If we keep talking about it, I know we won't leave here today. So just me, what is the name of this guy? He said his name was Leo. But then I now found out that Leo is actually Chief Leonard Williams Adinki. Wait, wait. Leonard Adinki? Yep, one of the same. Girlfriend, no way. <laughs> I know. Are I'm you right. serious? I, I was just, I didn't, no, I didn't recognize him, to be honest. I did not recognize him. He just came up to me and we, we talked and... And then I found out who he was and I was like, okay. So this guy is one of the famous people I I, in this town. Uh, I know. But then that's not the point. It wasn't, it wasn't about that. It was the fact that I, I actually had fun talking to him. Welcome on my model. You always get the good guys. What's that now? Uh -uh. You're the one who doesn't but, want to. But to be honest, babe, do you know this your guy? I've had a crush on him. Victoria, 
Victoria, Relax. you are begging for spiritual slap, Abby. Relax. So of all the men that are in this world, it's the one I just told you that I like now that, that you are crushing on. Which kind of hair joke without? Okay, okay, I'm just joking. So, um, now that you, you're in this romantic, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. just chill, let me play you some romantic movies and I've got this romantic wine in the fridge. Ah, ah, just chill. Is romantic. Everything, obey. Your no head, your head, your head, did you? I hope that wine is sweet though. Very sweet. <laughs> Mm. What took you so long? Sorry, love. I was just um, talking to my daughter. She's um, upset, but mm. I'm sure in no time you both will be friends, especially when she sees how happy I am with you. <laughs> well, I, I hope I'm not going to be a problem. No, 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 no problem. Everything will be over. I mean, forget about that. Don't worry at all. I'm not worried. I just. I want to get along with your family. Yes, I'm sure she will come around. <clears throat> Leo? Isn't this too fast? I mean, I, I don't want you to wake up one morning a year from now, you know, feeling like you got stuck with a child who doesn't understand the years you've lived because she's so young. That won't happen, my love. If you don't understand me already, we won't be here. Although, to be honest, I ask myself if I'm not too old for you. Maybe I should leave you to someone of your age. What? No. <laughs> no, please don't leave me to go with someone of my age. No, because baby, age is nothing but a number. <laughs> yes. And in your case, your favorite number is a bank account. Isn't it obvious that it's old enough to be your father? He's older than you, you go digger. Lisa! Stop it this instance. I, I didn't raise you to, 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 to talk like that to anyone. Ah! Uh -uh. Go digger. What is it? Where are you going? Just let me go, okay? This is obviously not going to work. It will work. Don't say that again. Listen, listen, listen. I love you. I love you. There is nothing love cannot face. You understand? Everything will be okay. Please. Please, my child. I love you. I'm sorry, Leo. I just... Zizi. Zizi! Lisa! Lisa! Hey, excuse me. Welcome. Babe, what's up? Um, Leo was here. Actually, you just missed him by like a few minutes. Oh. What does he want after that rubbish started to you? Yeah, well, he, he came to apologize again uh, and tell me to forgive her and that she would come around and, and he says he loves me, so. So? What did you say? Well, I, actually, he proposed. Like, propose, propose, yeah. marriage, propose. Exactly. So what did you say? What do you think I said? <laughs> You're crazy. <laughs> I know, I got you, right? <laughs> I was trying to contain my excitement. I'm getting married. I'm getting married. Oh, my God. I'm so, so, so happy. I'm so excited. I know. Come on. So just me now, when is the wedding coming up? Oh, um, we've decided to, we've decided um, three weeks from now. Oh, three weeks? I know that face, when you're about to be in the 
Babe, you know I love you and I'll do anything for you. But you remember that my contract I told you about? Yeah, yeah, what happened to it? It just came through and um, I'll be traveling next week. Okay, Victoria, this is, uh, okay, I'm happy and sad at the same time. I'm happy for you that you got the contract, but why are you leaving me now? Who's going to help me run around, plan the wedding? And then Kendra's not even around. Oh, no, no, no. Um, actually, I spoke to Kendra and um, she said she'll be back by next week. Wait, you spoke? Why she not coming now? What in the world that girl? Chick, you know that girl now. Thanks so she get crazy already. No, believe me. I'm getting married. I know, babe. I'm very, very happy. I'm so excited. Please, we should open that champagne that we've been saving for a special occasion. <laughs> I love your father, Lisa. Do I look like I care? Look, I honestly wish that I did not feel the way I do about him. Okay, but I do. I care about him in ways that I can't even begin to explain to you. Haven't you ever been in love? Not with a man who's old enough to be your father. Okay. I know how this looks. I know. But as far as I'm concerned, age is nothing but a number. He is an amazing human being and he makes me happy, all right? And I make him happy and that's, that's all that matters. I love him. Would you have loved him if he was poor? Oh my God, this has, this has got nothing to do with your father's money. Then don't start what you can't finish. I know what you're capable of doing. Don't kill him before it's time. Lisa, your father is a wonderful man. He is amazing and kind and funny and a, a generous human being. And he is blessed to have a daughter who loves him as much as you do. But please, please don't let blind devotion make you rob him of something that he, he deserves. He deserves this happiness. Okay, he deserves to be happy and I love him. I swear I do. Really? You know what? I don't believe you, now, or ever. I can't believe you're letting that cow terrorize you in your husband's house. Keep it down, babe. Okay, please. Because I am not looking to attract any more house drama. The easy I know lives for house drama. Doesn't that woman have a husband to go home to? Which kind of rubbish be this now? I can't. That's it. She will not just let me be. I'm, I'm starting to actually doubt myself and, 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 and wonder if I, I rushed into accepting his proposal. I mean, I love him, but this is... I, look, I'm just not looking to attract any more problems to myself right now. And she's just... I know, sweetie, but you have to live your life. Your husband loves you. Let him know what a member of his family is putting you through. Huh. And you have to keep cool, okay? No matter what. She is relentless. It's like my biggest fear right now is that she would she could accost me in public or, or create a scene. And with the press, I can't afford a scandal right now. I just I can't. Honey, you'll be fine, okay? Don't worry. I'm solidly behind you. Thank you. No, I love you, right? Thank you so much for coming. Thank you. I really appreciate you, babes. Thank you. This is Otabo. We are made in Africa. Let me assure you, your mission has failed. I can see right through you. Please, please, stop. Okay, stop. These accusations are hurtful. You don't have feelings. You are a heartless gold digger. Who wants to reap where she did not sow? I love my husband. And I'm genuinely sorry that he also happens to be your father. But I married him before God and, and the people that I love. And no one, not even you, is going to come between us. Because those vows were said till death do us part. Till death do you part? Is that your plan? I honestly cannot understand how you can't see that your father is truly happy. I don't get it. Zizi, my father is not a play toy to you, okay?
Thank you, Tamuno. Are you hungry? No, not at the moment. Um, but I wouldn't mind if I could get a moment of your time. <laughs> Anything for you, ma. Okay, sit. <clears throat> um, I was meaning to ask you something. Now, I know that we've just recently met, but do you recognize me? Of course, Ma. Who does not know the famous Zizi Jacobs? <laughs> it's really a great pleasure serving you, Madam. Thank you. Thank you for saying that. Um, but I, I want to know, what is your perception of me, yeah, you know, um, what is the impression that people have of me out there? Honestly, a lot has been said about you. Some good, some bad, some very ugly stories. You know, I used to think you're not a Nigerian. Maybe like a black American or something. <laughs> no. But here you are. So humble and down to earth. Oh, well, thank you very much for saying that. I, I, I really appreciate it. Forget about what Oga's daughter has been saying. She's only jealous. <laughs> Is it because she's not popular? <laughs> See, uh, madam, she too has been through a series of broken marriages, all because she cannot cope with an average man. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, what did, what did you say? She's, she's, she's been married several times. She's divorced. Care to call him Pod Black? Hmm. <laughs> um, thank you, Tamuna. That will be all. Anything for you. I'll let you want, um, I'll let you know if I need to eat. you budge into my room? The same way you got in here. You don't have the right to come inside or budge into my room. Just like you have no right to sneak your nose into other people's affairs. You better back off. Allow Zizi to enjoy her newfound love. You and I know Zizi has an evil intention. Lisa, what are you scared of? If you have a problem with Zizi, you better go settle it. And come into my room and say filthy things with your mouth. You and I know the future has little to offer, Zizi. Don't speak it if you love your friend. Why? Because you don't want her to know you are here. Do you think I'm interested in your filthy, worldly family? You don't fit in and will never be. May I come in? Sit yourself. Uh, listen, I, I was on my way out and I thought I'd stop and you know talk to you. About what? Lisa, I know that you don't like me. Right? And um but I just I just want to know why. What is it exactly about me that you don't like? I don't like anything about you. Your looks, everything. <laughs> okay, look, fine. We get it. You're pissed off that your father married a model. Let's leave that aside. Let's leave all that jealousy aside. What is the real reason why you don't like me? Like I said earlier, I know you don't love my father. You don't expect me to like you either. I don't just like you. Can't you say? I mean, I love your father. I do. I'm not here because of his money. 
look, we both love this man, okay? So why don't we, let's just call the truth, for his sake. <sighs> for my father selves. I'll say okay for now. But that doesn't mean we are friends. Because we can never be friends. I, I get that. I get that. And I will take it. No. Leaving. Leaving. We're done. That's it. Signed. Are you happy now? I hope no one saw you. Really? We've been doing this for six months now. And all of a sudden you, you, you want to get suspicious? You know what I say? Trust no one. That is the rule. And nobody saw me leaving the house. Are you sure? Of course I'm sure. What about Lisa? I see you girls are getting along. Don't you think she can still be suspicious or, or kind of inquisitive? I don't know what you're talking about, Jesse. All right? I gave you what you want. Now get out of my car so I can go home. I can't wait for this to be over. Same here. Because I am sick and tired of seeing your boring face. Oh, welcome to the club. Get out of my car, Jesse. Zizi, not even a peg or a hog after all this. Why? Are you kidding me? Get out of my car, Jesse. Come on, Zizi. You can't hide your feelings from me. See, I can see it in your eyes that you still want me. <laughs> no. No, Jesse, you don't see it in my eyes. Why? Because I'm a happily married woman, so... <laughs> you can take all the memories of whatever it is we had in the past and maybe touch yourself once in a while. Now get out of my car. Oh, uh, well, it's been nice working with you. No, I should say, it's nice working with you. Beautiful lady. I'm good. You're back early. Yes. How did your movie go? Movie? Oh, the movie was, it was, it was good. It was fine. It wasn't scary at all. Oh, no, no, it was, it was not, it was not a horror film. It was, you enjoyed every part of it. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, it was, it was, it was, uh, it was great. Is my husband home yet? Yeah, he just came in a while ago. Good evening, madam. Good evening, Aunt Lisa. Good evening, how are you? Good evening, Tamuno. Yes. Uh, made dinner yet? No, no, not yet. I'm just returning from the market. Oh, fantastic. Please, just go ahead and get everything ready. Uh, I'll be cooking dinner tonight. Okay, ma. Are you sure you know how to cook? <laughs> oh, trust me, Lisa. I know how to cook. Are you starting right away? Oh, no, please. I have to go and take a shower and literally wash Lagos off of me. I'll be right back. Tell me, did you miss me today? Of course, you know I did. <laughs> I miss you. Huh? I know. Hey, how did the doctor's appointment go? Yes, um, a bit complicated, you know. Uh, yes, I was actually admitted for some couple of hours. Tests were run, and, but the doctor kept reminding me about dialysis. Are you, are you okay? I'm okay. Oh, okay, good. I'm relieved. <laughs> anyway, um, I was making something special for you for dinner in the kitchen, so yeah, I don't want my food to burn. Very important. <laughs> uh, then, uh, how many more minutes? Oh, um, less than an hour. Way less than that. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I know you're hungry. All right, I'll be right back. Okay. All right, baby. All right, all right.
Hey, Dad, how do I look? Oh, turn, turn, let me see you. Oh, you are beautiful and and uh, very gorgeous. Thank you, Dad. I have the day. Ah, it will go well. I hope so. Are you fine? Dad, I have to run now. Run alone? See you. Especially prepared for you, it's served. Beautiful. <laughs> Let's go and eat. Oh uh, no, I'm not eating, sweetie. It's specially for you. Why? Why are you not eating? <laughs> sweetie, it's too late for me to eat. I'm a model, remember? That's how I get to keep this beautiful body that you love so much. <laughs> I agree with you. <laughs> Let me go and take my food. Let's go. <laughs> Understand your laws, but throwing accusation will do us no good. What are you waiting for? Are you trying to take side with a woman who killed my own father? Hold on. Before the investigation is over, everybody in this house is a suspect. She poisoned my father! Madam, these are serious allegations. Do you have anything to say at this time? I love my husband. Regardless of what anyone believes. And I did not kill him. Officer, harass this woman! She poisoned my father! Calm down, Miss Lisa. Calm down. I will have to question you people individually. Starting with you, madam, please 
can we get somewhere private where I can do this question? Please, Nobody can believe this stuff. Especially when it comes to the death of a wealthy and popular man like Mr. Adingi Williams. This woman get along. Jesus God. She said it. She said it over and over. I came here to take his money. I came. She was right. I came. I came here to, to take his money. How? No. Oh. How could I poison him? How could I have poisoned him? I'm he was my husband. Doesn't that mean? Doesn't that mean something? He was my my husband. It's quite complicated. <laughs> Oh my God, Kendra. Kendra, I did not kill him. Kendra, you have to believe me. You have to put yourself together. You don't need to attract people to start giving you some self-pity. See, everybody will still be looking at you like you're a murderer. Okay? Be strong. Keep yourself together. I'm with you, okay? Do you believe me? I believe you. <laughs> oh my god, I trust you. I trust you. Tamuno Peterson, am I right? Tamuno Peterson, sir. Oh, forgive me. Please do not hesitate to correct me anytime I make a mistake about your personality. I don't have any personality. I'm only a house help, sir. House help? So that means you've been in charge of all the domestic activities in this house. Yes, sir. Including going to the market, malls for groceries, and every other form of procurement. Yes, sir. I see. Do you know one Tamuno Peterside? Yes, I know her. I, I have heard of her. But that's not my name. Mm. Anyway, she was in charge of her uh, domestic activities for the late Andrew Williams, just like you. She was convicted for murder because she poisoned her late boss food. Well, when she heard that she was pregnant for him, she killed him. She was molested sexually countless times. Now, tell me, has Mr. Leonard Adingi Williams made any move towards you or molested you in any way? Answer my question, Miss Tamuno Peterson. to get me crazy. Well, first scandal again. What is this? The new cycle agent said you can murder your husband. Did you use it? I don't have to explain myself to you or to anyone. Get out of here. Well, we've succeeded in buying back the media houses, depending on when the investigation is over. Jesse, I honestly don't care for you or your people do, okay? Just get out of my life and leave me alone once and for all. My husband is dead. Are you happy now? Please, just leave me alone. Well, I have the real doctor's autopsy report for your husband. I guess that was for you. Where is it? Where is it? I want it and I want it now. 
I hope you haven't soiled your head again. Because I myself, I don't even know the content of the report. Two times. Did he succeed? I did not kill my boss. Don't answer my question. And don't be faster than your shadow. I think I need a lawyer, sir. A lawyer? Do you want us to take this to the court? You want the world to know all about this? You know, you want them to know what you're hiding? I have heard of people requests for the help of a lawyer in tough cases like this. That means you can afford a lawyer then? I never said so. <laughs> Miss Tamuno Peterson. Ah, where are we? Mm. Ah, there we are. Because this proves that you have two different bank accounts. One has a um, sum of 750,000 naira. And the other, 550,000 naira, making it a total sum of 1.3 million naira. For a house girl who earns 65,000 naira per month. This only proves to me that you've been stocking this rich man's house with uh, cheap commodities, unhygienic food, rotten food, thereby making it poisonous. You, you killed him deliberately. You cannot deny that. All because of what? Because he tried to sleep with you twice? I'm innocent, detective. Mm. Would you still need a lawyer? I can get you one. I don't mind. This is Otabo. We are made in Africa. How has it been? I hope I didn't keep you waiting. As long as you don't cancel the questioning. I'm fine. So how has it been? I'm sorry, Miss Lisa. I do the asking and you answer my question. All right, detective. You are 50 minutes late. Where were you? I went down to a nearby store to get some stuff for myself. And why did you not pick it before now? I don't think we need to talk about that now. Please. Thank you. Miss Lisa, I'm sorry, but you have to answer my question. You're 50 minutes late. Where were you? But you know say you hot, Sha. See, Jerome, now serious matter with me come here. That one has smart in now. Oh baby! I'm serious. Eh, eh. okay. Oh yeah, yeah, now make I hear you. I overheard Zizi talking to Jesse over the phone. About Oga's medical um, results and autopsy results. So? What do you mean by so? Don't you know Oga died while he was eating? And I was one that went to the market to purchase the food items. I still don't understand you. The detective has found out about my two secret accounts. And now it's like I'm the prime suspect. Really? So what do you want me to do now? I want you to get to Jesse before Zizi does. And collect that result. Mm. Well, that one has smart thing now. That one has smart thing. Don't be one person. That's, that one has smart thing. <laughs> oh, baby! Thank you. Okay, let me start going. Oh, go inside. Don't tell. Go inside and do what? You know I have to run away from Now what for you? Jesse is still there. She's with me. Well, no worries, well, Asha. No Bye-bye. Well, well.
afraid. How close were you to your late father? He brought me to this sinful world. He made sure I lack nothing. He was my father and my boss and my best friend too. Before he died, what were the things that bothered him the most? His health and my happiness. Your happiness? How do you mean? He wanted me to get married and be happy. Ah. Oh. Mari. There, there, there we have it. Somewhere here. Aha. Uh -huh. uh, you've had two failed marriages. How come you never talked about it? It brings me sad memories. It is said here that your last husband died of food poisoning. How did it happen? That's true. He had drinks with his friends. They poisoned him. And where did the incident occur? In my late husband's house. Well, according to what I have here, you said that you divorced your last husband, but he died of food poisoning. Are you trying to hide something here? Answer my question. Bye. to be the manager of Islam Modeling Agency and also a trained private investigator. Does that name ring the bell here? That's not as much. Miss Lisa, please have your seat. Thank you. Oh. Please, can I have a phone? The last dial call was to Mr. Bruno 30 minutes ago. And that's exactly 15 minutes before you drove to the store. Who is Bruno? 
That's the man I'm going out with. And what does Bruno do? For now, nothing. He's not working. I intend to employ him in one of my father's companies. Hmm. Interesting. And does your father know about your relationship with Bruno? I'm an adult. It's not necessary that he knows. Just leave the call. If you don't, this whole episode is coming on you right now. Hello, Mr. Desmond. Hello. Hello. Did you kill Jesse? You knew he was going to reveal to us the truth about Mr. Leonard Adingi's death, right? So you conspired with Desmond and you have him killed. I knew it right from the first day I saw you in that car. I knew something was going on. Why? This is why did you kill my father? Why? Detective, you have an evidence. Arrest this gold digger! She killed my father! Arrest her! <laughs> Tell me, madam, where can I find this one? Are you dead? I don't. You don't? I do not know. Okay. You are a model. Who do you work for? Answer me! I worked for Desmond as a model for nine years. And he used me in ways that I can't even begin to explain to you. Everything I earned went into his bank account. If I shopped, if I ate, if I slept, it came out of his pocket. I got away from that monster and that's exactly how I intend to stay away. So no, detective, I'm sorry. I can't help you. I don't know where he is. You don't know where he is? I don't know. Then who killed Jesse and Mr. Leonard Adingi? I don't know who killed Jesse. Okay, I don't know who killed Jesse. I don't know who killed my husband. I don't know who put me in this position, detective. I can't help you. Do your job. I don't know who killed Jesse. I don't. Hello, Jerome. Hello. Listen. Listen to me very well. I beg. I need a lawyer. I need a good lawyer if you defend me. Because, eh? This case don't tire a power. They still they suspect you? Yes. You mean her? Yes. That means I need to get that thing very quickly. Before uncle. Okay, I go rush him, I go rush him. Please, I go appreciate him, I beg. But that lawyer oh no go easy. Oh. I know. Even if I charge him, I don't mind. Hey, want me to find someone, just leave it to me. I will negotiate with the person. If I grab the document, I go rush, bring her, come give you. No. You won't go jail. You sure? I beg, just stay in your cabin. I was just talking to my brother. And? He said my mother is sick. And? That she might need blood. And? And my blood might be a match. So? So I want to take excuse so that I'll go and see them. And what happened to the lawyer you requested for? Me? Lawyer? No! When? No, I did not ask for anybody. I see. So you no longer need the service of a lawyer. <laughs> Miss Tomono Peterson. Hmm. 
Mm. Like I said, what if I get you the service of a lawyer for free? Will you still want this case to go to court? No, sir. Please, sir. Why are you pleading? Did you do it? I think so. What? So you killed Mr. Leonard Adingi Williams? No. God forbid. But I only stole some of his money, just small. Tamono Peterson. Hello? Detective Kirsten on the line. Oh, good, good. Very good. Bring the criminals to me alive. Okay. All right. See you soon. Well, ladies, we have found Jesse Brown's killer, Desmo Lucita. Desmond killed Jesse. What? Yeah. Well, he claims to know the killers of Mr. Leonard Adingi. And he has even promised to cooperate with us in our investigations. Did you say Desmond Osita? Yes. Do you know him? Yes. He's my father's friend. Really? Yeah, he's been here before. That, that, that was when my father was having his 50th birthday. Yeah. What? And he left this house angrily and I don't know. Hold on. Is this a conspiracy between you and Desmond Osita to ruin my family? Zizi. Why? Oh God. Which apparently took them five years to Man, I'm plot. Should have known. What are you two talking about? <laughs> it's over. It's over. Susie Jacobs. Hello, Inspector. Yes, Detective Kest on the line. I couldn't get a better reception inside, so I had to come outside. Yeah, I can hear you now. Go ahead with your information. What? How? Damn. They 
This is Otabu. We are made in Africa. Okay. Okay, no problem about that. Yes, loud and clear. Damn! This is bullshit. Detective, what's going on? Desmond Osita just committed suicide. <gasps> what? No. No, detective. That egomaniac could never take his life. Are you sure of this information? I mean, when did this happen? Detective, this is getting more complicated. Please do something. I don't want to die. Calm down, Miss Lisa. Just calm down. Zizi, who sheltered you when you first came to town? Answer him! Are you deaf? Speak! Murderer. Um, my, my friend Victoria. And where does Victoria stay? I, um, I don't remember the exact um, area. I just, I just know the house. I don't know the, the name of the area. <laughs> Zizi. Give me one reason why I should put you behind bars for the rest of your miserable life. The only reason I have, I'm innocent. Lies. Lies. That is what you've been feeding me from the beginning of this investigation. And I promise you one thing. I will make sure you rot in jail. Policeman was here earlier on, uh, but um, Detective Kester, right? Yes. He has been pulled off the investigation due to his incompetence, and I've been assigned to take over from where he stopped. So please, can I have the autopsy results now? Sorry, Detective Churchill. Churchill, um, I am sorry we were unable to give him the result when he came. Why? Because we couldn't find it. What is that supposed to mean? Are you aware? that you can be charged for obstruction of justice? Do you want to go to jail? Oh, no, detective. Um, we believe that the result was stolen by someone. So we are trying to conduct another result. Stolen? Under your watch? And who else is aware of this report? The people die, you. What do you mean by people die? I don't understand. On top of this medical report, people die. People die. This is it. Make sure you go straight to the detective. Don't allow any other eyes to see this. Please. It's very dangerous. Okay. Alright. You know I love you. You just have to be very careful. Very, very careful. I don't want to lose you. If you and your family don't want to spend the rest of your life in jail, tell me where the result is. The result? I'll talk to the for Mr. Adinky Williams. He's my friend. Your friend who? My friend, Jerome. Jerome, he's my friend. We've been friends for a very long time. We work together too. It's his girlfriend. His girlfriend needed it. Girlfriend. Girlfriend. Who is that girlfriend? Tamono. <coughs> Her name is Tamono. Tamono Peterson. Peter Peterson. She is Tamono Peterson. She is the house of the Adinky Williams household. <coughs> and where does this Jerome live? <coughs> So you have given the report to Tamano? <laughs> yes. <laughs> <coughs> 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 
now. By now. You should have got to the police. Your game is up. The, the, the whole world will do everything. The whole world will do everything. dead guy that could actually be of help to you. Oh really? Yeah. Can I see? Okay. This I recognize. And this I recognize. But you see, this is the dead guy. But I just can't find out the link between these three people. Like I've been trying to figure it out, but it's not just coming up. Uh, you have it. <laughs> now, this guy here is the link between Tamuno and the autopsy result. Hmm. Oh, I see. Um, have you gotten Mr. Williams' medical history? Oh, yes, yes. Because we need to find out if it was actually poisoned. Yes, I, I do, I do. Though we have some allergy issues, but uh, hmm. first I need to fetch James and Tamuno so as to lay my hand on the report and I'm doing that first thing tomorrow morning. So would you be needing my help? Well of course I will. <laughs> You've already given me a head way in this case. What are you doing? Nothing. Nothing. Wait, please excuse me. I think the killer is still in his house. <sighs> so, can you describe this man for me? Yes, yes. He was tall and huge. He had um, an Afro kind of haircut with oblong head. He was, he was very aggressive, you know. That, yeah, they sent him to come and replace Inspector Kesta because of um, incompetence. He was really very, very aggressive. He pinned me to the wall and like threatened to kill me and my family if I don't tell him where um, Jerome lived. I have no other choice. I have to tell him. Okay, so are you sure this man came for the same autopsy result? Yes, I'm very sure. I'm very sure it was, it was after I left the doctor's office that he came to me. The doctor obviously told him about me. I see. 
Okay. Finally, you're here. Yes, I am. Okay. Are they in? Yes, they're in. All right, no problem. Okay. Just make sure to secure the perimeter. Bye. Right. Okay. Call for backup. Okay, I will. Oh. Detective, what are you doing here? So it's been you all along, Lisa. What are you talking about? You killed your father. I don't know what you're talking about. This is your father's medical report. How did he get into your room? Oh, you are evil. How could you kill your own father? The man that gave you life? You shouldn't be here! Oh, give it up, Lisa. It's all over. It's all right, Detective. And I'm really sorry for what I made you pass through. I was only doing my job. It, it's fine. I understand. I beg to take my leave now. Um, yes. Detective. 
I'd like to know, how does she do it? <laughs> well, apparently she has a hitman, Bruno. The one she claimed she was dating. She has been looting her father's money for a very, very, very long time now. So she decided to kill him when he told her he was going to bring you into his businesses. He was going to make me a... He was going to make me a part of his business? Well, that was her confession. I beg to take my leave now, madam. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And do have a lovely day. Yeah, you too.